Hello boys and girls, welcome back to the weekly Jujutsu Kaisen spoiler. It is now chapter 215. In the previous chapter, we finally get to see our boy Itadori Yuji back in action. A back and forth between human and curse. At the end of it, we get to know that Megumi is fighting from the inside. Although he cannot fully take control like Yuji, but he weakens Sukuna attacks. In this chapter, we will see how it all played out. But before we jump into the spoiler, as always, click the subscribe button if you still haven't subscribed yet, or at least leave a like so that it will boost the video throughout the algorithm. If you are already done that, let's jump into it. The chapter is open with another point of view. As Yuji said that he wants to share his misery with him, with Sukuna, a large fish core spirit flying through the sky. Uraume and Kenjaku was on that fish. Uraume told Kenjaku to make it faster. Kenjaku answered that he just got out of one of the most tiring fights, so Uraume should chill out with his at with her attitude. But Uraume told him to shut up. We go back to Yuji and Sukuna fight. After Yuji's punch, Sukuna curses Megumi and notices that Megumi is holding back Sukuna's curse energy output. Sukuna seems to be fine with it since he thinks both of them are now in the status quo. But he is unable to notice a monkey stepping into the scene. The monkey apologizes that despite her Mach 2 speed, she is late into the stage. Sukuna seems surprised that Noe doesn't do any damage on her, despite it being buffed. Maki asked for the situation, and Yuji explained it in the most fearsome way. This guy will not die even if you kill him. The situation then turned into a 2v1. Sukuna tried to punch Maki but it was blocked and deflected. He then got manhandled, or what I would like to call it, Maki handled and punched him away. When Sukuna was in the air, Yuji quickly used the closest railings to hold Sukuna in place. Sukuna commented that he is boring for doing so. The Zenin monkey then kicked his ass into a building. Sukuna still seems unfazed. Maki asked Yuji that they should increase their speed. All three of them seems to going to be faster. This reminded me of the 2 vs 2v1 battle between Yuji, Todo, and Mahito. Both of them then charged at Sukuna. The monkey then had the audacity to hold Yuji's leg and use him as a hammer to hit Sukuna. Sukuna realizing that no matter what he do, Megumi will, will reduce the output of the attack. He then act activated another technique of his. It is still unclear. This is his technique or Megumi. But I am leaning towards Sukuna's. This destroys, this destroys the platform they were standing. Sukuna then punched the arrogant monkey in her face. It was so satisfying. The punch sadly doesn't have that much power in it. What seems to be Uraume finally appears. Uraume announces their attack to be a maximum output. The technique is called Simonagi or Calm Frost. Uraume then apologized to Sukuna if she did overstep on his fight. Sukuna said that it is okay and that he no longer cares about Yuji. Uraume said that the preparation for the bath has been completed. Sukuna then summoned Nue once again, but the eyes behind them were cracking. It was Yuji. He broke out of the eyes while shouting Sukuna's name. Uraume asked if they want to kill him, to which Sukuna jokingly said, No, but do you want to say something hilarious? Yuji then provoked Sukuna, saying that he is pathetic for running away. Both of them then laughs at him. Sukuna saying that Yuji's pathetic self reminds him of something or someone from their era. But I don't think that this comment has a lot of lore behind it, since they are mocking him, after all. Uraume, Uraume snarkily agreed that Yuji does resemble it, especially in his mouth. The chapter ends with both of them escaping to perform the ritual. Quite an amazing chapter, isn't it? We get to see a close quarter combat between the three of them. 
Also, Urome pulling up with her maximum technique. And of course, we cannot forget that Sukuna using another technique called Spider Spider Thread or something. Anyway, what do you guys think about this chapter? Please do comment on it. I would love to hear what you guys think about this chapter. That will be it for this video. See you guys next time.